Today, I'm tackling the cable chain sagging issue on the Creality K1. If this has been a problem for you, stick around I have a fix that should keep it from happening again. I'm going to take the chain off my K1 because after doing a lot of research and seeing how different solutions have worked, it's clear that the main problem is the chain. To remove the chain, you have to disassemble the front plate, the guide screw and disconnect the cable. Now, you can start pulling the chain links and release the cable through the openings. If you want to keep the chain, take it out little by little to prevent it from breaking. The problem here is due to the tolerances, which build up between the links and cause a drop that causes the chain to end up dragging. While there are temporary fixes, Vinny's redesigned chain tackles the problem, its source by reshaping each link to minimize these gaps. I printed out the redesigned links with built-in supports to ensure a solid print using PETG filament. After printing, I remove each support carefully, prepping the links for assembly. This support system keeps the link shape precise and tight, which is essential for avoiding sagging. To further prevent sagging and keep the chain elevated, I printed a chain link riser. However, after testing it with the new links, I realized it needed some reshaping to fit just right and make it able to move. Here's the adjusted version. I changed the flat shape to a rounded one like the links and modified the tolerances and thickness of the walls and now it runs perfectly smooth. Now it's time to assemble the chain. With the supports removed, each link snaps into place with the next, forming a sturdy, sack-free chain ready for the K1. The original chain has 28 links. I only printed 24, that is enough for the print head to reach the whole build plate. With the chain assembled, let's install it on the K1. I started replacing the rear bracket, adding the modified riser I showed you before. I used the original screws to mount it. For now, I put it in the highest position. I then started feeding the cable into the new chain. It is normal for the links to separate during the process. The most important thing is to be careful and try not to break anything. As you can see, it is a task that takes a while but is easy to do. To complete the modification, another riser must be put on the front to help keep the chain straight. All the model links will be on the description. Attach the riser to the hotend using the guide screw. And connect the cable of the motherboard again. As I only printed 20 for links, you must move the start of the cable to shorten it and allow the chain stay connected. And now it's time to reassemble the hotend cover, starting with the cable holder. And following the cover itself, just snap in and then screw it from the sides. And there we have it a fully stabilized cable chain with no sagging or touching the X rod. This fix keeps the chain in line even during longer prints. If you're struggling with cable chain sagging on your K1, this solution could be just what you need. Let me know if you try it or if you have other solutions for your K1 setup. And don't forget to subscribe for more 3D printing designs, mods, and tips. If you like this video, it will be great if you can like, share, and subscribe to my Fricardi 3D YouTube channel. Thanks for watching and happy printing!